Keeping the Rave Alive. Yo, this is Scott Brown, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Kutsky. This is Extreme. Hey, Kutsky, thanks for keeping the rave alive. Hey, yo. Hey, guys, it's Outbreak, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive, hosted by Kutsky. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, yes, welcome back to the show. Myself, Kutsky, here to bring you another episode of Keeping the Rave Alive. 360 degrees of the harder styles of dance music is what we normally represent here, but this week we're doing something a little bit different and we're going very niche. First of all, no, I haven't got a peg on my nose. I'm sick. It was a busy weekend. I flew to Los Angeles and back again. Um, and I'm 40 years old, so that turns out that that's pretty brutal on your immune system. I felt like I was getting sick before it and my little boy had been sick. So yeah, that's caught up with me. Anyway, the good news is you can't catch it off me through the internet and you don't have to hear me rambling on with a blocked up nose because we're going to jump into the mix for the majority of the show this week. We're going to do a deep dive into the sound of down-tempo hardcore. If you're a regular listener of the show, you'll know the hardest record feature. And I always say for hardcore to be hard, it doesn't necessarily need to be fast. Another thing that I also say a lot is that hardcore music isn't defined by its BPM. Hardcore's got crazy over the past few years, as it always does. It gets a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. The template is basically 200 BPM now. Most hardcore tracks are clocking in at 200 BPM. If you're a long-time lover of hardcore music, you'll know that every so often the scene kind of resets itself a little bit. The tempos get reset and slowed down. Honestly, with the popularity of up-tempo hardcore at the moment, I'm not convinced that that's what's going on on the scene at the moment, but there is a big movement of DJs and producers that also produce the fast stuff to get a little bit more experimental and write stuff ranging anything from like 140 BPM to 160 BPM. For those who don't know, hardcore is typically 170 BPM and upwards, like I said, 200 BPM and beyond these days. But the slower, more experimental stuff is really fun at the moment. Just a handful of producers that are really getting involved in this sound at the moment. Of course, Mad Dog at the forefront of it. You've got Anger Fist producing this sort of stuff, Tears of Fury, Night Shift. And of course, this isn't a new thing as well. There's been a lot of hardcore produced at this lower BPM for many years. So this week, we're going to jump into the mix with a lot of new tracks in this so-called down-tempo hardcore movement. But we're also going to include a lot of tracks that pave the way for this resurgence of the sound as well. Just before we get into the mix, I do want to give a shout out to everybody supporting me over on Patreon at patreon.com slash K-T-R-A. The link is in the description, so a big thanks to everybody supporting me on there. Your support is what allows me to spend so much time each week putting out a show, like the one that you're listening to right now. And if you do enjoy this show and you would like to get more shows like this in your life, up to an extra three shows per week, you can pledge to support me from as little as £2 a month in there and get some extra content in your life. Appreciate the support. Quick shout out to Ryan Prouty, Mr. Gringe and Dave Kuiman all joining us over there on Patreon this month. So thank you very much for the support. Once again, link in the description and it's time to jump into the mix. If you want the full track listing for everything you hear in the mix, as always, you can head over to our website, keepingtheravealive.com, download all the previous episodes of the show, all of that good business. But right about now, it's time for myself, Kutsky, in the mix with the sounds of down-tempo hardcore. DJ Kutsky in the mix Keeping the rave alive The gateway to hell
every passing crew out there, the future is before your eyes. Yeah.
hardcore
and only death for your people. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. 
The siege is now begun. There will now be an unscheduled faith change. From this moment on, I dedicate this church to one cause. Silence. 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 Attention.
In this world, life and death struggle for benefit of mankind and not for mankind's destruction.
clear message to the people of this country. This message must be read in every newspaper, heard on every radio, seen on every television. I want this country to realize that we stand on the edge of oblivion. I want every man, woman and child to understand how close we are to chaos. Oh, <laughs> oh,
Stop it! 
chest. Did 
criminal Save the community. Take a look behind the scenes. Corruption and greed is commonplace routine. The most influential men got influential friends, and I'ma put the squeeze on all of them. Dirty judges and dirty cops Who's the real criminal?
There we go, the sounds of down-tempo hardcore. You can't see me at the moment, but I'm doing air quotes. Down-tempo hardcore. It's just hardcore, isn't it? Hardcore has never been defined by BPM, but it seems as things have got crazy and fast at the moment. I do think that there is kind of a need to give it a label, like, you know, I'm playing the slower stuff this weekend, or I like them slower tracks at the moment. Down-tempo hardcore, why not? And I'm telling you now, right, hardcore can be quite a purist scene. Don't be a snob. Don't be a snob about it. Don't be like, oh yeah, hardcore's always been like this. And there's a why why does it need a new name? And there's a or you know, well, it's not fast enough to be hardcore. That's one that I hear a lot. Enjoy it for what it is. It's cool. It's interesting. It was a fun mix, wasn't it? The fact that you've got this far, I think I'm kind of preaching to the converted at this point. Like I said, there's a bunch of artists doing this. If you check the track list out on the show, you'll know who to look for. But I can highly recommend Mad Dog's new down tempo album if you're feeling this sound. Like I said, at the start of the mix, he's kind of on the fourth front of this movement. Cool, so before we wrap things up and get out of here, I want to give a couple of shout outs to people that have very generously supported me this week with the virtual beers, which if you're new to the show, it's the tip system on the show. If you've enjoyed this show and you're thinking, yeah, buy him a beer for the effort that went into that, you can do so virtually at the website beer.keepingtheravealive.com. That helps you boy out a lot, along with the Patreon support, gives you the opportunity to leave your name and a message, and I can give you a little shout out at the end of next week's show if you are willing and able to do so. So I want to say big up to Wilty saying thanks for the tunes as always Kutsky big up Wilty cheers mate do appreciate that Jacob saying thanks for the beats again you're more than welcome mate shout out to Mojo saying keep it going man there's a lot of us out here that love what you do thank you very much do appreciate the support with that one and I intend to stop no time soon and lastly a big shout out to Luke who says been listening for the last 10 years from Boston keeping the rave alive is my soundtrack to work running and everything in between so thanks very much Luke once again the link is in the description beer.keepingtheravealive.com I'll be back on the show same time same place next week with another show back to the full spectrum I think next week 
Thanks for joining me. And until then, this is Kutsky signing out, keeping the low BPMs alive. Have a good weekend.